What's up everyone? So I thought we'd do a new tool Tuesday, cool tool Tuesday, whatever you want to, however you want to call it. Uh, and then also something that I've had for well over a year, kind of a snooze fest if you ask me. Anyways, Channel Lock has been coming out with their new USA made picks, hook sets, screwdrivers. Um, they have new Tape measures out as well. They don't. They aren't currently USA made, but they do have a lifetime warranty, which is pretty cool. And then we picked up some little dinky golden rod. And then uh, while we were at it, Wildy can't go wrong with a Wildy carbon scraper. So uh, first thing I picked up was the Channel Lock four piece mini hook and set hook and pick set. Uh, I really like the grips on this new Channel Lock stuff. The price is affordable. And I think it's going to be great stuff. Next set was, um, I picked up individual screwdrivers, ones that I would use typically the most versus buying a set. But uh, these new Channel Lock USA made screwdrivers with this tri-lobe design. And I got to say, I really like the feel of these screwdrivers. Let me tell you why. I love the instinct, but I got small little chubby hands and the instinct grip itself is a little too large for my hands. These are perfect. These feel phenomenal. Obviously, I'm just giving you my first impressions because I just got them. So we haven't used them yet. So I'm not going to give you some bullshit biased review like some other people saying, oh, it's great. Best thing since sliced bread. I can't tell you that. I haven't used them yet. So I got to tell you, they feel real nice. And from the Code Blue screwdrivers and some of the other channel lock screwdrivers I've had, if they're anything like that. I think, I think that they will be phenomenal. Uh, one downside on those trilobe handles is uh, the plastic definitely doesn't have any kind of grip to it so if you get if it gets oily definitely going to be some slippage issues but the other thing is no te no texture to it um, uh, again for the oil thing but uh, for oil slippage things like that but uh, the plastic it's made out of I feel like if these took an impact you're going to get the little sharp edges and stuff but you're also talking about a mid mid price screwdriver you're not talking about anything terribly expensive so we'll see how it goes um so yeah like i said i just picked up a, a handful of what i thought would be my common ones they didn't have a flathead stubby they only had the phillips so i picked that up for now but we will be going back and we will be picking up more as more stuff comes in uh then a good old usa wildy carbon scraper I really like the Wildy stuff, so whenever I see it at, at local mom and pop hardware stores, I always pick it up. Then, like I said, you know, this is the Channel Lock 25 foot tape measure. What it is made in China, but it does have lifetime warranty. If it breaks on you, they will replace it. It does feel real nice. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this one a run, see how it does. Then I got a bunch of these little goldenrod things. It's a little bottom bottom bumper. It was on sale for five bucks. I figured why not. And uh, yeah, then like I said, I already showed you the hooks, the hook and pick set. Well, actually, might as well get them open. You know, like I know some of us, some of us have just started buying channel lock, and then some of us have had it for over, you know, since we were kids. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I like I love those little baby trilobes. And the other thing is this this S and W thread checker. I've had this thing for over a year now. My really good friend Pat Paulson sent it to me. Uh, matter of fact, he even got one sent out to Papa Cass Speed Wrench so he can use it professionally in his shop because he actually does own a shop and actually does run an automotive shop and he's been enjoying it. I, I had to take it off my wall to show you. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of kind of interesting. You know, we all, you know, a lot of people talk about having twenty plus years, and you know, you're just buying some stuff. It's kind of funny. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed New Tool Tuesday, Cool Tool Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. On that note, T6 is out. You guys may have noticed the seventy millimeter gold wrench is gone. We took it today. It is getting a glossy lacquer coat put on it by Precision Coatings in Hubbard, Oregon. Then we'll be shipping it off to Jude, and when he hits 3,000, we'll be making sure it goes out to one lucky subscriber. So, 
keep paying attention to his channel. As Jude would always say, keep on keeping on. I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. T6, out! S and W thread checker. Had it for over a year. Had it hanging for over six months. Huh. Yawn.